Hey guys, VanderhallParts.com. We wanted to make a quick video on how to install the paddle shift. We've had a lot of questions and inquiries about it. So here is your paddle shift setup, exactly how it comes, all in the factory wire loom. And it also comes with two longer screws. These longer screws are meant right here for the column to compensate for the metal and also to give you the right clearance. And we're gonna show you exactly how to use that. So first things first, we're gonna put this down and we are, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the hood. It's just simple allens all across, all around. There's nothing to it. So we're going to go ahead and do this and we'll be right back with you. We're going to go ahead and remove the hood and just place it anywhere safe. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to need to remove the windshield. There's four bolts right here to take the bracket off. We're going to go ahead and pull this windshield on this machine right now. Um, again, it's just four Allen keys. So when removing the last Allen key, you want to be careful because you're basically going to have an unmounted windshield. What I like to do is rest your elbow right here. Go ahead and pull that off. Let's put the gun down. Take this off. And now the windshield is going to come directly off. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, this panel right here. This is the panel in between the hood and the actual dash. Um, it's going to have some Allen keys and then it's also going to have a couple of Phillips right here. Again, everything is super simple. On the passenger side, I like to just have it out about halfway. And what that does is that will hold your panel in place. And then we'll go around on this side. And you can see all we really have to do now is lift it and you can shift it over. And that's really all the space you're gonna need. Once we have that removed, the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the screws here on the column cover. You have, I believe it's five Phillips. You have two here. You have one in the middle, and then you also have two that are going to be back here. These are just self-tapping Phillips that basically hold this uh, steering column clamshell together. But we're going to go ahead and remove that and be right back with you. All right, now that we've gotten the five Phillips screws out, go ahead and remove the clamshell. It just comes apart in two pieces. This is your bottom piece, and here comes your top piece. Okay, so now we have the exposure to the whole steering column. Next thing we need to do, remove this speaker to get access to the panel back here. The speaker grill is just glued in. That's how they come. So you can just remove it, the epoxy stays in there. Um, depending on how old your machine is or uh, how particular you are, you can place a little bit more epoxy or glue to put it back in. A lot of times we find that there is enough glue that it would press right back in. Um, there's four Phillips here. We're gonna go ahead and remove uh, three of them and just tilt the speaker out of the way to get access to the plug for the shifters. All right, now that we got three screws out, what I like to do again is loosen up the fourth screw here in the bottom corner and just kind of tilt the speaker out of the way. This will help you line up the speaker easier when you get back. If you reach back down here now and feel, first thing that usually comes up is this harness right here. This is the factory harness that Vanderhall placed for their bump shifter which also is identical plug to our paddle shifter setup. So now we get to the routing portion. And first thing you need to do is you can place this anywhere you'd like. The first thing we need to do is we need to run the wires. The wires are pretty simple. You're gonna run them right over here, right above the column. And once the column is all the way up, you still have about an inch of space. So you don't have to worry about pinching wires. Uh, we have the tilt unlocked. We're gonna push it all the way down and we're gonna feed this through. This comes up top here, as well as this ground strap. All right, now that we got it, we can place it back here. Okay, so even with the column up, you can see the cable is not pinched. We can move it back and forth. So we're gonna push this back down. The cables, we have them coming through here, underneath this. And the next thing we need to do is route these cables. So, first thing, we're gonna go ahead and put this through this hole right here. And you will be able to reach in. And here it is. And now, this is gonna come just plug right in. You hear it click, make sure it's nice and locked. And then you can place your speaker back. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ground strap. Now, we're gonna place the ground strap to the top bolt of the ignition uh, bolt here that holds the ignition on. You can place this ground strap to any good chassis ground. 
we personally place it here. We've had great success with it. Um, Again, if you don't like the, that area, you want to place it somewhere else, just make sure it's a good chassis ground. So we're going to go ahead and put this on and come back and reinstall everything. All right, now that we have the ground on, basically we can start putting all the panels back on and making sure we have this portion up here nice and snug. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the clamshells on here, show you guys that important part. First thing you need to do, go ahead and get your bottom clamshell on and remember the shifter bracket is going to go in between the hub the steering hub and the actual clamshells so this actually goes on top take that back so we're going to put that on just like that and then we're going to have to go ahead and put the bottom one on and you don't have to worry about screwing them in right now just go ahead and get them lined up all right, so now that we have this on, go ahead and slide this behind the hub. All right, and we have that. Next thing you're going to want to do is take the new longer provided screws. And make sure these holes line up with the factory mounting holes. You can just look right through, make sure. That looks like it right about there. All of these brackets and spacers are laser cut. So we know they fit great. Paddle shift setup is tested prior to shipping. Now we're gonna take these other screws and place these back in. here all right now that we got the screws back in you can see everything is nicely mounted we're gonna go ahead and put the speaker back in put all these panels and you're pretty much 100% ready to go the only tricky part I will tell you is right here make sure this there's a hole right here this just goes right on the harness it's pretty simple you put it back in and again because we didn't remove that screw all the way out pretty much already self line up basically there you have it now you just place everything back in you're gonna want to put this panel on first um, the windshield and the hood and that's it thank you guys